Hello buddy, welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm showing you how to use the set block command in Minecraft Bedrock Edition in 1.20. So if you like Minecraft videos like this one, then please make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more Minecraft tutorials like this one in the future. And so not too long ago, a lot of the commands in Bedrock Edition have been revised and slightly changed including the set block command, which is why I'm going over this command now. And so we'll go over all of the different features of the set block command and go over them with some examples I have right here behind me. And we'll start off with the very simple set block command to place down a diamond block like this. So let's check out what this command block here says. It's very simple, very easy to understand. It's just slash set block, then the coordinates and the block you want to place. So if you don't do this in a command block, but instead in the chat, it will look something like this. Set block, then add the coordinates wherever you want to place this block. This can be relative to the player with these tildes, or it can also be just numbers. That's also fine. So you can take a look at our current position if you enable coordinates. And then we can, for example, set our block like this. And then next we can specify which block we want to place there. This can pretty much be any block in the game. So let's say, for example, the azalea leaves flowered. We can press tab on keyboard or probably scroll through on console like this. Go to azalea leaves flowered and then just press enter. And there we go. We've just placed some azalea leaves right there in our world. That is the very basic idea of the set block command, but you can do a lot more with it. And sometimes you need to do more with it because, for example, if you want to place down some diorite, two blocks in front of us like this, you'll see there is actually no diorite block as of yet. This will be changing in the future, I believe. But for now, what you would actually to place down is stone and then somehow specify the stone type. And so this is where our next part comes in because these are the block states. And so block states are now specified with square brackets. So after your command like this, you'll have to put in some square brackets like this. And within these square brackets, you'll have to put the different block states you want for your block that you want to place. And so in case of stone, we can set it to stone type, stone type, make sure you use your quotation marks around this, then just a colon, then more quotation marks. And then in here, we can put diorite like this. Now if we press enter, we'll place the block, actually it's behind us, there it is. So we'll break it and we'll place it again to show you, there we go. That is how to place down a block of diorite. And so if you want to know what all of the block states are in the game and which ones are related to which block, I'll leave a link down below in the description to a Minecraft wiki page, which contains all the different block states of all the different blocks in the game. So if you need any of those, then just go there, check it out, see which ones you need and put them in the square brackets, just as I did with this example over here with the quotation marks, the colon and the text in between. And I have two more examples over here as well. So first of all, I have this example, which places down in jungle leaves and the jungle leaves are placed down like this set block leaves then we have to specify the old leaf type that is the name of the block state here and we set that to jungle and next we also set the persistent bit to true this just means that this leaf does not despawn even though it's not connected to any wood and you will notice that there is no quotation marks around true if you ever have to fill in true or false in these block states, you should not put quotation marks around it. Otherwise, the command will not work. It is very finicky. I don't know why they did it like this. It can be really annoying. So just try out with without quotation marks to see if that makes your commands work. And then over here, I have an example for some stairs as well. So we can push this button. We can see these stairs. We can push this button. We can see the stairs are rotated. Here, rotated once again. And the final rotation is there as well. So that's all the four rotations of the stairs. If you want to place down a block that has a direction with the set block command, that is also possible in this case. Don't ask me why, but the rotation is done through weirdo direction. And then afterwards, it's a number from zero to three for the different rotations. Again, no quotation marks around these numbers. And I've also set the upside down bit over here to true, which means that the stairs are upside down. Normally this is set to false, and so it's normally right side up, of course. And again, no quotation marks around true, but quotation marks around upside down bit and weird direction. And of course, this works with any type of stairs, not just purple stairs. Also, I will leave all the commands I show you in this video in the description down below, so you can copy them from there if you're on PC, or just check to see if you understand what to actually write down, because it can be quite tricky with these commands on Better Condition. And so that is it for the block stairs part as i mentioned the link to the micro figure page is in the description i highly suggest you check it out if you want to use any type of block states in your set block commands and so then finally we'll move on to the final parameter you can give to the set block command we might have already noticed it we can go and set block at our current coordinates maybe two blocks in front of us for example an emerald block then afterwards we for example don't want to specify any block states so just put in an empty bracket like this and another space 
And now we have three options, either replace, destroy, or keep. And so by default, it is already set to replace, like this. And that is just your default set block command. The other two are special cases of the set block command. And so over here, I've set up three commands and three chests above them. So this is a chest with 64 emeralds. All three have 64 emeralds in them. They're all exactly the same. And so now I'm trying to place a block on top of this chest of emeralds. And so this is where the difference between replace, keep, and destroy will become apparent. So this first command block is set to put a diamond block at the coordinates of that chest with the replace tag at the end. So what happens if we press this button? It just replaces the chest with the emeralds with a diamond block and nothing else happens. This is the default behavior. Then next, this command block is set up to be set block at those coordinates of the chest, diamond block with keep. And this means that if we activate this button, nothing happens. I am not entirely sure why this is an option because keep actually means that it will only place a block there if there is an air block there. So as there is no air block at the coordinates of this set block command, it will not place the diamond block. If this was air instead, it would have placed the diamond block with keep. It seems like a very niche setting, just like destroy as well, which is what this third command block is set up as, as the destroy set block command. Again, we have the chest here, and so let's just see what happens if we use destroy. There we go. So it actually breaks the block, it plays the block breaking animation and also the block breaking sound. And if there's a chest, for example, or any other storage container, it will actually drop the items that were in there. So we can see our 64 emeralds are right there. We now have them in our inventory. And so that is how replace, keep and destroy work for the set block command. All right, and now let's actually cover a couple of cases where the command does not work. This might help you out if your command for some reason doesn't work. So let's see what the different error messages mean. First of all, if you make a mistake in any of your syntax, so for example, we accidentally put in Sloan instead of Stone, we will get a syntax error. So unexpected Sloan in our command. This means that you've made a mistake at this part between the arrows and there is some sort of syntax syntax error there's some sort of mistake in your writing so that is what that syntax error means then if you have something like this we set a block six blocks below us this actually doesn't work the block could not be placed and so this is because we're actually placing it outside of the build limit of the game so we placed it at y minus 66 which is not part of your build limit so if you place it below the bottom build limit or above the top build limit it will get that error message then if you try to place a block very far away you will get this error message cannot place block outside of the world and so this occurs whenever you try to place a block in a chunk that is currently not loaded you can only place blocks in the chunks you can see when you look around so that is why that error message may occur and if we try to place a block of grass on a block that is already grass you will also get an error the block couldn't be placed. So you can only place blocks if the block you're trying to replace is a different block that you're trying to replace it with. And so those are the main error messages and what they mean for the set block command. And so that is pretty much it for the set block command in Minecraft 1.20 Bedrock Edition. If you have any more questions about this command, leave them in the comments down below and I or maybe other people will be able to help you out. Again, in the description, I'll link to the Minecraft wiki page with the block states and also all the commands are shown in this video will be in the description down below as well. Also, if any of the commands change, I'll leave a pinned comment below letting you know. And so if this video was helpful, then please make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more Minecraft Bug Edition tutorials in the future. And so I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope to see you all in the next one. So until then, bye-bye. Mm,